everyone, it's Lisa. I just wanted to share with you my first pocketing scrapbooking layout. So uh, I was going to start with showing you. I'm going to be using um, one of the Becky Higgins. This is Design C and it has six of the, I believe that's landscape. Yeah, landscape four by sixes. And that's what I'm using for this week. I just kind of look at my photos and decide which style I'm going to use, which ones, uh, which way they'd fit in there the best way. And if I have a lot of nice photos that I want to blow up to 4x6, um, then I use the ones with the bigger pockets. So, um, also I am subscribed to the Scraptastic This Life Noted kit, and I love it. And I just got February's, uh, I think it was probably last week, and I'm using it for the first time. I'm actually doing, this is my uh, journaling for this week. It's actually February 2nd to February 8th. And I don't count the weeks, I just kind of add the dates in there and it seems to work best for me. So I already did my journaling on that and I'll be putting that in the layout. And I've already printed my photos and I went in and edited them. I have a printer here and it works really good. So I like to do that and then I can kind of, if I need to adjust them or fix them or toss them and start over, I do. And um, so these are some of the photos I have for this week. And I use an edit um, software, editing software called Monkey Pick, and I have the upgraded version, which I think is thirty dollars a year. So I have this picture that, and I've already trimmed all of them too to what I kind of wanted them to be. Um, so I was going to start with. Um, I went through my cards and I kind of picked out. This is what I keep my um, this life noted um, stuff in, and I have all my cards here, but just to save time, I went ahead and picked out the ones that I thought would look good with these photos. I kind of lay out my photos and, and then I kind of look through my cards to see if anything says anything that um, goes with the photos or sometimes I just go by the color, which I kind of like doing too. So let's see, I picked out Time Flies because I thought, geez, I can't believe it's almost, it's already February already. And so I was going to kind of put this in the upper left hand corner uh, of the page and then I wanted to put this nice picture of my house with all the snow in February here and let's see this I this card is not from the Scraptastic kit this is actually from the Project Life and it is the Sunshine Edition which I love the colors I try to use up my cards first from my kit and then if I need to add or you know add another card or something I go ahead and add it so I thought this was kind of nice color to go with the, this color that came with the kit it's kind of a really bright bright yellow um, and I liked it said this is how it went down so it kind of is good for your journaling for the week I always print my journaling on cardstock or white paper and then um, I'm gonna trim this down and I'll go ahead and put that there and then for behind this picture here of my house with all this snow, oh my gosh, look at that, it's crazy. It's crazy. It hasn't stopped snowing here. I'm sure you've heard on the news we've been getting bombed here on the East Coast. And then um, I liked this color card to back this one, so I was thinking maybe I would put that one there. I kind of like to lay everything out first to get an idea of what I'm going to be doing. This I thought I could put up... Um, the top area there and let's see then I thought what did I think oh I had the this here was um February 6th and it was minus 20 when we woke up so of course I had to get a screenshot of that and I did a little silly editing there kind of goofy um, so I did that and then I thought I'd kind of put that there Oh, we got these gorgeous acrylic shapes in the kit this month. And this one's just a little let's see, exclamation point. It's really fun. So I thought I'd kind of put that up here. Let me lower this so you guys can see this. Bear with me because this is my first layout process video. Um, so I thought I'd put that there. And just to kind of get a rough idea of what I'm doing here. And then I have some food pictures, which... Um, this picture here is a picture of uh, my girlfriend, Anne, who whenever it snows, she lives right by the hospital that I work at. And I spend the night at her house. We've been getting a lot of storms and she made me um, a nice meal. Um, she actually made me lamb chops and asparagus and roasted potatoes. And it was delicious. She treats me really good. She's a sweetheart. And I love her to death. 
Um, she actually is one of the nurses that oriented me. She's been a nurse for eons, and she's retired. And uh, so we have some nice memories together at the hospital. Um, so then here, this is like bad food. So just ignore the fact that it's McDonald's because I know it's not good for me. But actually, one morning, I didn't have to be in until later. I had a later shift, so my husband... Um, brought me in and we stopped at McDonald's and I don't always eat like that. Don't, don't no judging. Uh, just kidding. Um, this picture here. Oh, this is my son's first uh, right vehicle. So um, I had to take a screenshot of that on Facebook. And then this one here is my husband taking the dog to get her nails cut. And it's always a traumatic episode for all involved as she screams in the car. And it's, yeah, it's pretty bad. And then this is my Polly, my Pomeranian. She's adorable. And since my children have moved out and they're all grown up and gone, they're both in the Air Force, I take a ton of pictures of my dog. And as you can see, she's hating my guts there because I got her a new toy and I wanted her to pose. So anyways, um, so I'm going to kind of get started and uh, start gluing these down. Let me grab my adhesive. So, of course, I have my Tombow permanent adhesive, which I love. It's okay. Um, so, this one here. I really love the, um, the Scraptastic kit. Lots of pretty colors and um, different things that you can use. It's awesome. And this one here. So yeah, we're getting the remnants right now of the blizzard that hit the East Coast. We didn't get a lot of snow. We probably only got six inches, but um, the winds out there are crazy, and I'm just hoping we won't lose power. But we actually didn't. We've had, I forget which blizzard it was we had not too long ago. I think it was last week or the week before. We didn't lose power at all, and I was so excited. I just felt bad for all those people that did, especially the people that didn't have any heat. Um... Now I wanted to add some more of that yellow color and I didn't have any more of this color in the Scraptastic card. So I grabbed from the Sunshine Kit, I grabbed a, a color that I thought matched it pretty well. And I was going to go ahead and I trimmed this down so it's not quite four inches long. And then sometimes I'll go ahead and add a little bit of color and it just kind of brings your eye to that yellow color, which I like. So let me just see if I can put this on here. Oh, I know what else I got in the kit too. We got these photo overlays and um, they're really pretty. I thought I'd try to use a couple of these. So this one here is for a uh, three by four. So I kind of thought I'd put it over that. And then this one here says, this is the good life. And even though I don't think all this snow is the good life, I just I love our home and I mean we're all happy and healthy, so I guess you can't ask for anything more than that. I haven't really figured out a great way um, to adhere these down other than maybe just using my Tim Holtz stapler. So if you guys have any great ideas about that, leave it in the comments below because and I thought maybe for this, I may use my, I'm going to trim this down a little bit. And then maybe use one of my uh, punches for the edge, my edger punch. And let's see if I have room there. All right, now that I have this trimmed up. thinking about writing where it says time flies I was thinking about writing um, February with a question mark because I, I still can't believe it's February already which is nice because that means April is going to be here pretty soon and I have these stickers but I also have these ones which I like the color it's 
Not sure if I have enough of the letters. All right. You know, if I could just be quicker at scrapbooking, which I mean, I guess it's not like a contest or anything with myself, but I just find that if I could just stick it down, it would be much help, more helpful. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and adhere this with my stapler. And I guess we'll do just a couple. Sometimes I'll... Alright, so I ran out of staples, but I fixed that problem. Alright, so I love this color. It's such a bright, nice color. And then up here, I was thinking about just putting the exclamation point, maybe writing something on here, like something about the cold, because minus 20, like seriously, who needs that? The dog didn't even want to go outside. These switch, these are so cool. I just thought this was kind of perfect for the fact that it was minus 20. Oh, and yeah, don't mind the sore on my hand. I was in the supermarket and went to get one of those rotisserie chickens, and my hand hit the heater at the top. So, looks kind of gross. Sorry about that. All right. And then on here... I'm going to go ahead and staple this overlay on here too. Which actually, I don't mind the staples. That looks kind of nice. And we got that on there. And then these are little um, sayings that came with our kit, which if you subscribe, to their um, This Life Noted kit, you'll see them. I'm trying to find the rest of them. I have already cut them. Some of them are perforated and some of them aren't, but they're really cute. This one I thought I'd save for the Valentine's Day layout. And then they just have cute little sayings on them. Love, great idea, hello darling, things like that. So I found this one with this Cool yellow color or kind of a greenish color and it says good stuff and I thought I'd kind of put this down here with the food picture oh and this little cute one here it's got the little utensils on it I'm gonna kind of add that in here and tape problems little thing that says yum I thought was cute and I'll add that to the picture of the dinner that my friend Ann made for me she's so cute she has a huge house um, she's widowed and she's been widowed for probably 15 years and um, she's got this huge huge house and uh, she has probably four or five bedrooms and she's never had any children it's just a gorgeous victorian home and uh she one of the bedrooms has two twin beds and whenever i you know need to stay over because of the storm she's always got the room ready for me and the bed's always made up and this is so sweet i thought it would be cute here beside my little polly and i'm probably gonna write something or use some um letters or something on the side here and then the picture here of my husband let me just turn this a little bit tiny bit taking the dog to get her nails cut which like i said is a 
huge feet in itself. It puts her in the back seat and gives her a bone. It keeps her happy for a little while. I liked this little one here. It's a little, little scissors. I thought it was cute. Kind of appropriate for having her nails cut. And where do I want to put this? Oh, I, I actually cut this little arrow out. Um, out of uh, one of the cards from the Sunshine Kit that I had kind of little, I had some little um, scraps laying around. And uh, I cut this out. That would be kind of a cute kind of pointing up to a picture of Polly. So I'll go ahead and put that there. And then the little scissors. I guess I'll just put, put these up in here. And I also made this or cut this little banner out of that same color card because I noticed down in this side here um, there wasn't a lot of that color. So I thought maybe if I put a little bit of it down here, it would bring your eyes and catch your attention down here. I don't know, I kind of like to have it um, not all the same color, but I like to be have it be a little bit uniform. Um, so I thought maybe I'd stamp something on here. Alright, so I think I'm going to do some stamping on this little banner here that I made for to put on uh, my son's new truck. And these are the stamps that came with this month's kit. Um, so funny, he said, she said, remember this, you say this all the time. I said, and then, and then you said, with some quotes. And I decided um, I wanted something that would fit on this little banner here. So this is Scraptastic's uh, October 2000, 2014 stamp set. And this one I liked, it said pick of the week. It would fit on here so i kind of like that because i'm really excited about my son getting a vehicle um and it cost him two thousand dollars and he put some new tires on it and it only has sixty thousand sixty four thousand miles and his saying on facebook or his post said well after a long haul without a car i now have a truck 89 chevy c2500 64,000 miles she's a beaut Minus the bird poop in what I believe to be a bullet hole in the door, but the poop will be gone soon. Oh my god, I laughed so hard. He's the funniest kid. He's amazing. Uh, he always looks on the bright side of everything, and gosh, what a sense of humor. So, you gotta love it when your kids are doing well and they're happy. I'm a horrible stamper. I hate to say that about myself, but it's true. I don't... I don't know what it is. It stresses me out. Isn't that ridiculous? That is ridiculous that it stresses me out. Stamping should not stress people out. Why is that? What is wrong with that picture? Oh, the stamps get all black and then I can't get it off. And I even got this um, cleaner here. Of course, I'm using stays on. But I got this cleaner by Recollections, a stamp cleaner. And it works really good. But for some reason, stays on really means stays on because I can't get it off of anything so I don't know I try to clean them off as soon as I can as soon as I use them so I don't know if that happens to you guys or not I don't know what you guys use or maybe there's nothing that gets that stays on off but it's pretty, pretty beauty ink so actually it came out pretty good considering all the whining I was just doing because you can read it and it's not too smudged so that is going to go on there, and I think I may use a couple more of the staples. Um, I don't know, I just like the texture of the staples. Just add something extra. So I really came up with a good system, I for me anyways, I guess, um, as long as it works for me, but um, for Project Life, and I, I don't know, maybe I'll share it. It's... When I first started doing it, it, it was kind of, uh, I was all over the place and I really didn't know how to organize my pictures and what I was going to do and what I needed for supplies and 
um, things like that. So now I think I have a really good system. It makes it very simple. And um, I love to capture all these moments because you know what? Next year I'm going to be saying to myself, well, how much did it snow last year? Was it was it a really bad year? You know, do we get a lot of snow? And I can look back and see all these photos. Um, and of course, I have uh, a thousand and one of my dog, but that's okay because I guess she's part of the family. So, and then I also cut this little arrow because it was I liked that color and I thought I could use it um, somewhere here. So maybe. I will add some color, maybe some more color down there in a minute. But I also wanted to do some, put some alphas or something on here, saying maybe I will write uh, new toy. Gosh, I'm corny, huh? And Polly, she's just funny. She's the funniest dog. She actually just had a hip replacement, and um, I know that sounds crazy that your dog has to have a hip replacement but she's young and she um went to to the vet and i was having trouble cutting her nails and uh she was flipping out like i thought and she thought she was going to die if i cut her nails like that's how bad it was so i brought her there and i asked them you know can they maybe sedate her a little bit just so i can get her nails cut so it's not so traumatizing for everybody involved and so they the little tech she was really sweet she took her out back and i sat there for a good 10 minutes waiting and uh, while they cut her nails and I could hear her struggling and she was screaming like somebody was murdering her. She's kind of dramatic. And uh, I'm not laughing because it was funny. It wasn't funny. Um, now I can laugh because she's fine. But um, it was it was pretty dramatic. So I went and ran up front and said, you know, I think this probably isn't a good idea. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, we'll try something different because obviously they didn't sedate her. They thought maybe if the two girls held her that they could get it done, but that didn't work. And meanwhile, uh, as I was running out front to the front desk to let them know, um, you know, just to hold off and everything, uh, they had dislocated her hip. So needless to say, long story short, they tried three times. They would, they would uh, go ahead and place her hip back in, put her in a sling. And uh, she'd walk around on three legs for a couple weeks, take it out, and uh, it would come back out again. So they had to go ahead and do major surgery. And they were really good to her. And she's like a new dog. She's still a little bit dramatic, but um, I don't think that's going to change. <laughs> but aren't we all, right? All right, I'm just trying to think. I was going to write something on here. Um, I wanted to write, like, cold or burr or something like that. Um, just looking to see if I have enough letters. Yep, I do. So I'm just going to do this. Gosh, I wish I lived in, I don't know, California would be nice. Um, Florida, no, nah, I guess I'm not really one for Florida. I don't know, maybe it's just because we've been down there so much and I wanted to try. I think California would be beautiful. But seriously, are there that many earthquakes that would stop us from living out there? Because we have like six months of cold and frigid and, and snow, so I don't think it get, can get any worse than that. But I don't want to jinx myself because we just, we just dodged a really big snowstorm. So I'm going to go ahead and point to these very unhealthy eggs. Um... Alright, All right. I was just looking to see what other embellishments I have from our This Life Noted kit for February, and I just found these. These are adorable. Ellie Studio Hello 2015 little stickers, and um, I thought maybe it would be nice because I have a little bit of just a touch of gray here, and I thought maybe I'd try to um, put that a little bit more out throughout the layout. And what did I see? Oh, I saw these little numbers, which I thought was kind of cute. I never know what to do with these numbers other than writing like 2015 or the date. So I thought maybe I would just kind of number the pictures of Polly. Poor Polly. She's like, Mom, seriously stop taking pictures of me. It's getting ridiculous. You know, if I wasn't a nurse, I'd want to be a photographer. I really, I'm not that great at it. It's just kind of one of those things where... I don't know, it's so creative, and I know you can't really, well, maybe you can make a living if you're really um, good at it, um, but I'm not that great at it. I just love it, and I just think it's so much fun, and I think it would be a 
a cool thing to do. So I just kind of pretend I'm one and take pictures of everything. And my husband's so patient. Because wherever we go, if we go on vacation, he knows I have to have a million pictures for my scrapbooking. And he's really, really good about understanding. And he'll be like, oh, look at that. that that's a good picture. Why don't you take that picture? And God, you got to love support like that, right, for our hobbies. Um, thought maybe this remember would look cute somewhere. Um, maybe here. And let's see. Maybe story I could put up here. And this is the card that says this is how it went down. Pretty much just talks about everything that I've been telling you about for the week. So I try to journal in um, on a notepad and I actually um, save it on my desktop, on my computer, on my laptop. And I just go ahead and um, make notes during the week if anything exciting happens that I don't want to forget about. But most of the time, I actually just look at my pictures and then I remember exactly what happened so I don't have to do too much journaling. And then at the end, I just type up a quick, um, you know, thing from the week. And it's pretty, pretty quick and easy. I think the system I have is working fairly good. I'm trying to keep up. I mean, I'm only a week behind, so... I really can't complain about that. I'm definitely not bragging because I know there's a lot of people out there that have way busier lives than I do with kids and um, things like that. So definitely um, appreciate my quiet time right now since my kids are grown up. All right, I guess. Let's see. Um, what else do I want to put on here? I guess I could use this little arrow. Oh, yeah, pointing to the little hippopotamus that I bought her. And she loves her toys. Definitely I'm an animal lover, as you can tell. Alright, so. Alright, so I wanted to get out some enamel dots. And I pulled out a couple different packages. Um, this is what I keep my enamel dots in. Not very organized, but all in one place, so it works for me. I love enamel dots. I can never have enough. Alright, so I just pulled these ones out. I kind of like this color. It's kind of like a like a bright, bright green. And these are Jubilee My Mind's Eye. Love My Mind's Eye enamel dots. I love the different sizes. I love the teeny ones. Um, so I pulled those out. And then I just have these Candy Shop Jellies, they're called. And I went in, I think it was Michael's I went in to get these. And uh, let me show you. And they were, I think they were 97 cents. And they had tons of colors, so I got a bunch of different.